On this week's episode, man, we're headed to Kentucky to B&G Christian Outfitters, Clay Cornelius, West Kentucky. Man, it's one of my favorite places to hunt every year. Kentucky has always been near and dear to my heart because we've been hunting there for about 12 years now, West Kentucky. And uh, it's just one of the early states that opens early. You get to velvet hunt, you can hunt over bait, and man, it's just an awesome yeah. spot. We finally just feel the game. Look at this, look at what it is. Man, I'm just doing my cage talk right now. My buddy Clay Cornelius, B&G Christian Outfitters, man, he has got an awesome setup. He's actually a tobacco farmer, man, so when you go up there, he's always got his workers out working in the tobacco fields. He's always got uh, something going on, man. He's a row crop farmer as well. And uh, I tell you, Clay is a hard worker. He's always out on the farm. He's always finding the deer. He's always picking tobacco, burning tobacco, chewing tobacco, whatever you do with tobacco. Clay is the man. Looks like Blair's gonna be first in the catbird seed in Kentucky, man. He's got a he's got a smoking spot that's always good for September. He's going in, and uh, let's hope he can get one of the big velvet deer killed. Opening day for us here in Kentucky. And I feel like we're getting the kinks out. It's hot, 94 degrees today. It's about 89, 89 to 90. We walked in. 5.30. So we're hunting the spot, same spot I killed last year. We've got four or five deer in here that look really good. we got an Imperial Whitetail Institute Cloverfield right here. we got standing corn all the way around us. We're hoping these deer are going to walk right out of this corn and feed in this field. We're out of, the, we're out of this block of timber right here. Got a southeast wind. South is good, east is horrible, but we think we're just up north enough. Keep the deer in his pocket. Our wind should be shooting right there. We can keep the deer right here, we're gonna be good. Hair, some cheap hotel in Texas.
Chasing a cold front, September the 27th, Thursday. We've been at home hunting in Tennessee the last couple days, and now we are shotgunning to Kentucky to catch this cold front in the next couple of evenings. End of September, I'm headed up to Kentucky. We got a slight cold front moving in, and uh, hey, we're just gonna go give it a try, man. We're gonna go hunt food plot. He's been corning, he's got a couple bucks coming to the plot, and uh, we're just gonna give it a whirl. We're gonna see what's going on, and hopefully we can get a big buck down, or if not, we may shoot a doe and just have a little fun, man. game day food tomorrow. If you are in the market for a blind, you have finally found an affordable, comfortable blind without compromise. You will notice that our solid wood framed 360 blinds come standard with three main components, the floor, the wall panels, and the roof. Built into every wall panel is a weighted 12 inch by 18 inch window. The weighted system allows you to stop opening the window at any point. Feel free to visit us at www.360huntingblinds.com, blind without compromise. J-Bone, you tell me something, man. Who brings the right to I know it one it guy. Even, it ain't even shot all year. Put that fella right there. Dang, I, just, I just look down the barrel. You want me to just look down the barrel now? That fella right there. I mean, what are we gonna do with it? I don't know. Man, it's the second week of November. The rut's kicking. We got rifle season coming in. And man, we got to punch a Kentucky tag. Welcome to Kentucky. For the fourth time this year? Yep, fourth time. We just got to stay in, man. It's November the 9th. The rifle season comes in tomorrow. We decided we'd get a little bow hunting action in this evening. And man, they are rutting. The rut's on. It's cold. There's a northwest wind about 15 right off of Santa Claus's chin. Something. I could have cooked his cone <laughs> there, about 25 right there. Like a record on rotation, I'll leave you hit. Can't 
Riven in myself, so let me plead the fifth. I ain't saying one word like I ain't got a lit. Passport stamped out with jokes like you travel. I want to see more in the world than Big Apple. Sad song, feeling the nights and street capital. So we don't give up. Well, we watched the deer for about 10 minutes. He stays without a range. They finally ease back up the hill. But hey, man, rifle season is about to come in. We know he's close. We know he's locked down with a doe. And uh, we just hope that we can get him done this weekend. Well, opening morning of Kentucky. Rifle season, man. It is about 10 degrees outside. Feels like, anyways. Really bright on 26. I can't go in. It's hard for me to tell. this buck come grunting off the hill and uh, J-Bone saying it's a shooter it's a shooter and I'm gonna tell you I got real close to shooting that deer but I had to take a second look at him and man normally when you have to take a second look it ain't quite the right deer that you need to be shooting J-Bone you almost had me though you are gonna have to calm down back there So the second evening we're going to move to a different spot. I was trying to ask Clay where we need to go and uh, hey man, I'm trying to get on a good spot so I'm going to work on the guide a little bit. I'm going to bait the guide a little bit. Okay, a red belt for you. I think we ought to start baiting with that. <laughs> oh, that's good right there. Son. Where did you get them at? Walmart. Here in town? Yeah. Red velvet Oreos will change your life. Hey, since you pulled them out, we're gonna change your stand. Okay. <laughs> 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 Well, we got in the spot, Clay put us in, and man, we ain't been there 30 minutes. We look out through the CRP, and there's a 10-pointer just bird dog and does, man, all through the CRP. And uh, we're waiting on a clear shot and uh, hoping that we can get him within range and, and get a clear shot. I hit it. You got it. I smoked it. You got it. We finally just filled the Kentucky tag. We finally just filled the Kentucky tag. Was you on good? Oh. That's the big team. That's the big team. Finally just filled the Kentucky tag. Man, I feel like a weight has been lifted off of me just now. Dude, I wanted to milk it. 
But he is bird dogging like crazy. We saw him. We saw him 30, 30 minutes ago, right? We got on top of this. And we kept saying he's gonna pop out right here, man. I'm freaking pumped up. I was saying kill him because I had to get shifted over here to get on him right there. Did you get him much? Very late, bro. That's all right. But I feel like it was good. Dude, Kentucky Tag Final Field. Probably not a whole lot of free roll, but. Give the guys some red velvet Oreos. They put you on a deer. They put you on a deer. Tell them you're gonna have a whole case shipped to them for next season. Look at there. We finally broke it. Man, Clay put us in a new spot today. We got in the blind right here. Hey, we shot him with Clay's gun. We got in the blind and we kept seeing him across the end over there. Across the back and forth. Man, that's a pretty tin right there, son. All day long. Check it up there. Man. You have stuck with me, man. Let me hunt. Big thanks to Clay Cornelius for having us, man. Clay has been best friends with us for about six or seven years now. We've helped him build his outfitting business. And uh, man, he is, he is rolling right along. If y'all are looking for a good Kentucky hunt, you need to contact my buddy Clay Cornelius.